WIMIS stands for Workplace Hazardous Materials Information System. WIMIS was introduced across Canada in the late 1980s by a combination of federal and provincial legislation. WIMIS was created to reduce injuries, illnesses and deaths associated with working with hazardous materials in the workplace. The system requires the classification of hazardous materials into one or more of six classes and only applies to materials that meet specific hazard criteria that is set out under federal law. These hazardous materials that come under the umbrella of WIMIS are also referred to as controlled products. Any controlled product that is used must be appropriately labeled, must have a corresponding material safety data sheet or MSDS and must be used only by people who've been properly trained. This training must not only enable people to recognize class symbols, but just as importantly, it must also give people the ability to read and correctly interpret labels and material safety data sheets. As we have already said, WIMIS requires controlled products to be classified into one or more of six classes. These classes are Class A, compressed gas, Class B, flammable and combustible material, Class C, oxidizing material, Class D, poisonous and infectious material, Class E, corrosive material, and Class F, dangerously reactive material. Now, each of these classes is represented by a symbol, with the exception of Class D, which is broken into three divisions, and each division has its own symbol. So, we have a total of eight WIMIS symbols, all of which we need to be familiar with. The first symbol, the symbol for Class A controlled products, looks like this. This symbol must appear on all compressed gas cylinders and simply indicates that the cylinder may contain a gas under pressure. If subjected to heat or severe impact, the cylinder may explode or act as a projectile. The symbol for Class B controlled products, which are materials that are flammable and...